Former President Donald Trump's criminal trial got underway in Manhattan today. Photos showed Trump accompanied by his legal team. Jury selection started today following an indictment brought against Trump by District Attorney Alvin Bragg for alleged hush money payments made to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. Donald Trump has denied the affair, and he was indicted last April, accused of falsifying New York business records to conceal crimes. The trial now marks the first criminal trial of any former U.S. president. Let's bring in Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes right now. And Khalif, after uh, today's court proceedings are really wrapped up and a lot going on here, what's your takeaways? I mean, there are so many things that I could take away, but I'll, I'll throw out a couple numbers for folks at home so they can keep track. 18, that's the number that we need to be able to impanel the jury. 12 in the box, six that will be alternates. 500, that's what court officials are saying. The number of people, 500 plus people that they'll bring in every day at, to be prospective jurors. 96, that's how many come in at each time and then 50. That's how many were removed in that first round when the judge asked, can you be fair and impartial? 50 almost plus said, no, your honor, I can't be fair and impartial. So my takeaways is we're going to be in there for a while, you know, get buckled up and be ready for this process to continue. Tomorrow, anticipate a whole day as opposed to maybe only one third of a day of actually getting questions to the jury. I know in the last hour we talked about weeding out the bias with these potential jurors, but you have some people who see these high profile cases and they don't want any part of it. I mean, at all. You've seen what happened in the Alec Murdoch trial and other big OJ Simpson trial that the names are all over and people say, I don't, I can, I might be able to not have a bias, but I just don't want any part of this trial. But that's really not an excuse, right? Not an excuse. And I would say that works everywhere except for New York. What's the saying? If you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> They've seen these types of cases before. Maybe not the president of the United States, but you've had you've had Giuliani, you've had you know the 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 mafia cases there, you've had the high profile Hollywood types of cases there. So they've seen big name folks that are not deterred by the big name that's attached to this type of case. And so an individual that doesn't want to be attached to it, not in New York, they're all ready for it. It's just now, can you set your bias aside to be able to be fair and impartial? Whole nother question. Well, you know, also you don't want to do retaliation. You don't want to put a target on your back. And some of these people here, they're going into something like this. The other quick thing is, you said it's going to go on tomorrow, but how long is it going to go on? The jury selection day? process is a long process, and so the judge anticipates almost probably two weeks, but I would say it's probably going to be longer. He's got 42 questions. Mm -hmm. He has to ask everyone. Maybe the first day and a half, he'll ask it and go through every individual that's there. And when he asks a question, each person can raise their hand, and he'll have to go through every one of those people before he can get and, you know, opportunity for the attorneys to ask their questions. Is that Two normal? Weeks. Is that what you normally would see in a case? That is 100% normal. Donald Trump. 100% normal. Everything that happened today, pretrial hearings, and the things that happened with asking the questions of the jury, all 100% what normally happens in the trial. All right. Except right. it wasn't the president. Right. There you go. Thanks so much. <laughs>